Don actually called in on my podcast about a week ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That Don's an asshole. We got rid of him, by the way. He's a fucking dick. Hey! Wait a second here. You've been on a different podcast you didn't tell us? No, I wasn't on a different podcast. So, Josh, what was it? I, I called and recorded something, right? It was a, That was a voicemail. Yeah. Was that the voicemail? Yeah, so we have a voicemail bank set up so fans can call and cuss us out, ask us questions. They can just rant about their day. And then you and keep Don it. posed a very, a very serious sports question for me. Ooh. Hold on a sec. Can you? T- and I've already told them this, but can you go ahead and let it, let the listeners we, know what was guess, the what was the question? Oh yeah, guess you want to guess? guess? I, I gotta guess. All right, hold on. We'll go around real quick. I'm hold gonna on, say Josh. it's NBA related. Nope. No. No, you're wrong. Out, I, you're out. out. Division Detroit. one basketball. Lions Lions related. Detroit basketball. Lions, you're out too. No. And I'm going to tell you, who should get this is Brian. Ultimate Frisbee. God, you suck too. Division one basketball. You're Dang, terrible. Man, you guys Long are all boarding. You guys are all cold. <laughs> they aren't they? Josh, dude. Well, they, we know Don. You know what? We know Don. Yeah, they, I'm going to tell you. God, thank God. I'm going to call them when I need help. Hey, go ahead and give <laughs> right. it to what, what, what do you. What was it? And by the way, did you use it? We did actually. We answered it. Uh, the episode came out yesterday. Ooh, I'm gonna listen on the way home. Oh yeah, well, yeah. And hold on, give us, give, t- tell everybody again. What's the, what's the podcast? Oh, it's called the Weekly Forecast. It's available on Spotify, Apple, wherever. I love it. I love um, it. I miss, I miss heard your question though. So my answer is a little. Uh, yeah, left, you're not, left you're not. Field, we always miss yeah, probably a better not. question the way you're you not, heard it. Yeah, you're, you're not definitely a better question. Questions are. I right, go ahead. Well, how did you? First of all, before you tell us what I actually said, what? How did you hear it? We uh, so the voicemail bank. Myself and my brother can both access it, and so he played it. Um, I didn't have the voicemail bank like in front of me, right? So you introduced yourself, and I was like, oh, okay, I've been talking to this guy on Reddit, and then you asked the question. Uh, while I was actually Googling the answer to another question. So I got caught in limbo for a moment, and, man, I, I took it the wrong way. So you heard what you wanted to hear, like <laughs> like we all do. Yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> that's, that's yeah. With, with most of Don's <laughs> questions. Yeah, that's how it usually is with me. I, I, I hear you, but let me answer what I want to talk <laughs> <Right>. about. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you, how'd you answer this? Then? And, and, or I guess, I, I know I want to listen, but can you give us a teaser? Yes, yeah, so I said that the the catcher was a very important position. The catcher. Here oh, was no, what the voicemail was. The voicemail or catcher? No, the, no, it's not pitcher or catcher. You dirty fuck. Well, <laughs> it was the, the question fuck. was was on the softball team. Oh, who is the most important player? Where do you put your best player? We talked about this last time. Yeah, yeah. You put him at catcher, yeah. and this is the question that I posed to these guys. And they obviously did a fantastic job, much better than you. You know what? I'm coming on your show, Josh. I'm done with this show. <laughs> hey, man. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Thank you. You know what? I'm done with you guys. And uh, we'll send a case of beer with so them. What to was, Josh. Yeah. So what was your answer? <laughs> the case of beer. Here's a lobster <laughs> road to go. Yeah. The old Babe Ruth trade. How long have you been podcasting? Uh, about two years now. Me and my brother started a really shitty podcast, and then we quit for a while. And then... Uh, I was actually supposed to have a gig doing bare knuckle boxing. What? I was in a car accident. I was in a car accident, messed my teeth up. So uh, instead of like going and doing the bare knuckle boxing thing. So well, wait a minute, because all... you messed your teeth up, you were going to go bare knuckle boxing, or was or that vice versa? versa? Vice versa. So I was. It seems like a go, to end. Go bare knuckle boxing. He was on his teeth. way to bare knuckle boxing in the car. <laughs> Got into an accident, <laughs> fucked up his teeth, and he got. Yeah. Do you have one of those old timey mustaches as well? <laughs> Where you they they you yeah. you twirl oh, them? You twirl it up. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. twirl it up. You got the you, like speedo shorts. Yeah. Out? Before you get into the fight with somebody. And you do the underhanded. Yeah, you do the. Movements. Hey, come on. Dude, you you get a wreck on the way to a fight. That's the ultimate sign. You should not be. That's oh, a good yeah. That was That's before your first fight. Speaking of that, what did you think about the Tyson fight? Oh, dude, Tyson looked good for for being fifty four years old, man. And truthfully, you know, if it if they didn't have the weird rules because it was an exhibition, so there's no knockouts, you know, whatever. So Tyson really didn't get to show his full power. Um, I would say I still probably wouldn't want to be hit by a fifty four year old Mike Tyson, but absolutely, I don't know, not. man. I, hopefully, that's like the closing of a chapter, right? Like, hopefully. Well, I, Josh, think I, think I think he's going to do it again. I think it's just the opposite. Novel. I think that just opened the book. Yeah. I think we're looking at that for the next three to five years. Who was like the that. real winner that night? Rourke Nick. 
Snoop Dogg was the winner that Dude, night. He was I want the him, best announcer. I want ever. him announcing all my sports for the oh, rest of my great. life. Yes. Ever since he uh, he did the announcing of the um, yeah. the alligators versus the wombats or what the fuck was that? I have no idea what you're talking about. Muskrats. You guys haven't seen this shit. No. Oh fuck. These are um, <laughs> beavers. Oh look like oh my god, that's a crocodile. <laughs> That's Wally Gatty. Look how they stand up on their toes. Like, hey, cuz, we got to get up out of here, cuz. Come on. He got him cornered right now. Ah! Oh, uh, whoa. Were well, they going head up with him? They ain't scared of him. What is these animals? All right, so let's, okay. So you, you, started a, you started a shitty podcast. Then you got a, a fortunate accident. That ended that saga. Now you got a really good podcast, it sounds like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I started interviewing, like, the Bare Knuckle Boxers, like, because, you know, like, they, everybody, everybody was really cool, so they kind of hooked me up. They were like, well, you can do some media shit. I started totally interviewing the fighters, and then I had, like, I don't know, like, strippers and, like, sex workers on, and then I had, like, a fucking astrophysicist on, and then it just kind of happened. Nice. Did you, you bang, get strippers on. did you bang any of the strippers? No, 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 I'm married. Did I tell you what, though? Every every sex worker I've had on my podcast swings a little bit towards like my wife's side. You know what I mean? <laughs> Wait a minute, what does that mean? I need so, to know. So, are you ugly? Is that what you, is that what you're saying? <laughs> is it they want the? Is that is that the problem? You're not a good swinger. <laughs> so, listen. Last question for you, and then we got to let you go. And I really appreciate you calling in. Mama joke. Give us a quick right. mama joke. A quick mama joke. See, nobody Damn, knows. Dude, that's a thing. Yeah, it's a hard, it it is is a hard, hard one, isn't it? There's only one guy that had a mama joke to put him on the spot. No, you got it. But that's how it is. When you get put up, sometimes you have those mama jokes where Almost somebody comes up joke. to you on the street and you're like, shit, I got to have a mama joke ready yeah. and rolling. And not only that, yeah. he's a bare knuckle boxer. I mean, how did, he should be ready to fire this off. Dude, that's how, if I'm I was a bare knuckle, I'll tell you right now, I'm a bare knuckle boxer. First thing I'm telling somebody to stun them is a goddamn your mama joke. <laughs> and then here comes the knuckles. <laughs> I don't think he needs a joke because he's got the bare knuckles behind him. Right. Oh no! For me, he's bare- waiting. He's waiting to hear your joke, and, and then, he's and then you're me. waiting for his knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> I think right now. I think right now, if if somebody was was to fight me right now, bare knuckles, and I was supposed to insult them first, I'd already had the shit beat out of me. Dude, that was like two minutes dumped right now. Right. No. I don't I think don't that's know. how it works. Well, you know what? Well, don't feel bad. No one else came up with a mama joke either. So yeah, you're hey, good. Yeah. You you're have, good company. Josh, I had one. Josh, you have, uh, and yours I was would. terrible. Josh, you have one more <laughs> week to think about this and then call in next week and give us uh, your best mama joke. What do you think? Fuck yeah, dude. I got you covered, dude. I love it. No Googling. I, yeah, don't Google it. You got to just come off, you, yeah. whether you ask your wife or some of these lesbians that call in or whatever. <laughs> Find your mama joke, <laughs> but do not Google it, you son of a or bitch. Or a lesbian joke. We'll, we'll accept a lesbian joke, too. We will not accept a lesbian joke. No, do not we'll, listen we'll to accept Nick. lesbian f- pictures. Hey, by the <laughs> way, real quick. Yes. How do we sound? Do we sound okay? Yeah, you guys sound good. Hey, actually, I got one for you. Oh, 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 oh we don't have one. Excuse me. Hey, once again, You're it's a bare knuckle, bare knuckle, bare knuckle boxing. Yeah, he just, he just gave me the old one, too. I got one. Your mama's so fat that whenever she skips a meal, the stock market drops. Oh, Ooh. oh wow. Burn. I'm going to tell you that that hurt. My mom is yeah, that's, fat and yeah. she, it's not very nice. Honestly, I, you know what? I'm hang up on him. I, I can't handle this. This is, <laughs> this is very upsetting. Hey, let me tell you, before, before you guys end me, let me tell you, if you don't have a fat mama, you can't trust her cooking. That's, that's true. true. That's a great point. That's true. Wow. Yeah. That is, I'm going to tell you, I'm I've never heard anybody back up a mama joke like that before. Yeah. And a with fat logic. mama joke. With logic. Yeah. With logic. <laughs> yeah. 